Do you know what it is that makes a photograph stand out when a judging panel is looking at it amongst 85,000 other entrants? How's it, how's it? This is the question we're going to be trying to answer today by looking at the shortlist of the Hasselblad Masters Awards entrance for 2023. The standard of entry in this competition is, is massively high. You see that when you look at the photographs, which is exactly what we are going to do right now. We're going to jump over onto the computer and check out the finalists and cast some votes. Because yes, we, the viewing public, we get a chance to vote for our favourites. You can imagine the prestige that comes with being awarded the title of a Hasselblad master. So the competition is fierce. When we look at the, the short list of these finalists, I think you, you begin to understand, get a grasp of how dedicated the photographers are within all of the categories to creating an image that stands out, that has that certain something. And this is what we're trying to dig into today is to encourage you to look at these images, to think about what is it beyond, oh, that's a really cool photograph, that actually makes the judge stop and suggest to the rest of the panel that this is a image worthy of being a finalist and maybe ultimately a House of Black Master. So here we are on the House Black Masters website. It's houseofblack.com and the winners of the the Hasbrack Masters Awards will get an X two D one hundred C along with uh, I think it's like a, like a bursary to, to create some sort of creative project and so that's you know the incentive itself but but anyway you're getting that title would be amazing and you can see just when we go to the public vote section which you also can do you know play along at home if you've got another website open it up and go and have a look these are some of the previous winners that are highlighting each category there are six categories architecture art landscape portrait project 21 and street now i start with architecture because you know <laughs> i'm an architect but i love this kind of stuff and you can immediately see wow these are these are some pretty pretty cool photographs and we haven't unfortunately got time to jump and look at each of them but there's one photograph that i saw earlier when i was flicking through that i just immediately was like is, is this this picture i'm like wow man this has impact. It has a, a color that just works, right? It's it's a, what is a fairly simple setup, and I say that you know, like oh, it's, it's dead simple, but it's difficult to see, and I think it's even harder to put into practice like this. It takes a bit of a vision, and that's kind of something I, I believe that we start to see through all of these photographs. That that's what the judging panel are picking up on. What is it that you think that, you know, the judging panel here, when we look at something like this, it's very reminiscent of Pete Turner's work. What is it here that they're sort of going, okay, we've all seen photographs of a similar nature, but what is it? What is it about these photographs that make them stand out? And I love this picture. This is, this is one of my favorite pictures of recently. It's just, it's gorgeous. I think it's because there's texture in there. I think the texture makes it feel like it's more real, whereas these days there's been a lot of, not AI images, but but this kind of work that is devoid of any sort of texture. It's all very smooth. And this makes you feel like you can run your hand across. It gives it a tactile sort of nature. So that's architecture. I could, as I said, pontificate all night. The art category, this is slightly different. You know, it's a bit more, here we can see, you know, there's some digital darkness, some compositing going on. And, and again, it comes down to more of a vision that, you know, the photographer has something that they're, they're making in their head and they're using digital work to make it all come together. I, I love this, the, these kind of weird sort of priest, I feel, I feel like the Spanish Inquisition kind of thing, sort of standing here. But there's this story here. There's, it, there's interest. It feels, it does, it definitely feels biblical, but there's a wonderful combination. This isn't just photography where somebody's cobbled together something in, in Lightroom and it, or, you know, Photoshop or whatever, and it just feels hackneyed. This feels like it is, it's a work that's been put together with, with 
purpose and i know people put it together but i I think you kind of get what i mean that there's it's it's a beautiful marriage of 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 the the visual and the and the digital you know this and these little these these socks and things here uh the the thing this is kind of reminds me like kids you know kids work is this digital is it made who knows what do you think you know let me know in the comments but we, you know, they're beautiful, beautiful images. The landscape stuff. What, what I'm particularly pleased about here is that it's it's somewhat devoid, certainly the finest, of I think what we'd kind of call like you know sort of more sort of Instagrammy maybe landscape. I, I may be wrong. You know, may, you maybe you follow Instagram photographers and what have you, and and they're all like all about this and all about that. And you know, that, I mean, look at those clouds, and they're lovely. I, I, I would like to think, you know, this is again. I, I think this is goes beyond. You can't just like put all the stuff together in a, in, a, in in Photoshop and what have you and make it. I think you still need to have a vision. And and I love the fact that these landscapes, like that photograph, you know, these they they aren't. They're not just so. I think that's part of the thing for me. They're not just everything is just, you know, even the landscape and, and you know, there's a rock in the foreground and then there's some, you know, aurora borealis and, and things of that nature. This, this looks intriguing. Wow, that looks... What, what is that? Is it a, a river? A, 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 something like that? What? And, and, and see what I'm doing here now? I've been drawn into something and I've asked a question. What is this? All right? Is it, oh, okay, maybe some algae and stuff. That's beautiful photograph. That's, oh, that is lovely. Really, really lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's, I think this is what we, we're digging down. It's, it, it's a combination of the color and the simplicity of, of the image, but it hinges on what looks like, maybe it's a mangrove with, with um, you know, reeds blowing in the water and stuff like that. But again, it's that vision. And that's, I think, what makes a photograph become something that a a judge looks at because wow I'm, I'm taken with this now I, I i'm not going to give any more surprises because I, I really want you to go and check out the site and and you know and really kind of get into it and 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 go and vote for your favorite images there are young photographers here i think you know project 21 who you can quite clearly see they're playing with ideas and again you know this series of images it's funny that because I get that one. I understand that. That seat feels like it fits. At, oh, there's the blues. It's the blues. Things like that. I think you know here. What is it? The the the, the judge is responding to. You know, the judging panel have looked at this and gone, okay, why does this deserve to be in there? And maybe something else does. I've got I've got my own ideas. I think maybe it's concept. These are these are quite like. There's a, there's a sense of some isolation but i think you know judging images and trying to put your head in the mind of a, of a judge goes beyond oh it's a sense of isolation or something like this there's there's more at play and, and again this this is where you know youtube somewhat sort of falls on its face a little bit flat because these are photographs we need to have a discussion in person with and this is this is the beauty of what's been going on recently with the, with the aperture allies community is we have started to have fat long chats about the photography about getting beyond oh it's because of the rule of thirds or the tonal range or something like that what is it about these photographs that resonates with us why is it that when i look at a photograph like like this one here that normally street photography doesn't really kind of do very much for me but this makes me want to leap out to wherever this is. feels eastern european it, it feels well this is victoria hotel we could probably find out where it is uh anybody know where there's a victoria hotel with a city that has trams and is misty and it has a subway <laughs> right? maybe, maybe it's germany you know who knows but i i love that this because it's, it's going beyond the idea of like i think what a lot of people consider to be straight street photography you know, these these are lovely little vignettes. Street photography is always gritty and raw, isn't it? Like people go, oh, but wow, the pastel colours is like that um, Josh Edgar's video we were looking at the other day. 
you know, if you like these things, you know, A, click on the like button because that would be pretty cool. But, you know, go and vote for them. Let us know in the comments who your favorite photographer from these. And you'll notice that the, there are no names because it's all anonymous, which I think is great because it removes any ideas that there might be somebody, it might be somebody famous. And that would kind of, I think, you know, sort of sway you one way or the other. These images, again, you know, the light pastely tones of, uh, I, I think this is Coney Island, because it says that, it says Island Coney, but Coney Island. They're, they're really nice. I think that just sort of sums up stuff. And again, you know, what is it you think about these these images? I've asked you a lot of questions, but this is how we learn. But we, we learn by asking questions of each other, of saying, what is it about these photographs that really appeals to us? that goes beyond the technical aspect. Now I will be hopefully showcasing the winners when they are announced. So if you're not a subscriber to the channel already, please do so, that'll be fantastic. And in the meantime, uh, two things, right? Firstly, if you're interested in Aperture Allies, there's a link in the description box below. You can go and check it out and you guys see what we have to talk about. It's, it's fantastic community, very supportive. And the second thing is go check out this video over here about shooting in Square because Square is the best format ever. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.